Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, my brothers, we have got to dive into this because this is the reason that the Bullet Points episode format was formed on this channel, to dispel the myths and the outright, outright propaganda coming from gun controllers around tragedies or just gun control in general, because the entire thing is a big propaganda push. However, what I'm about to show you is focused on the St. Louis, Missouri tragedy, which we touched on last night. Now, I thought it was odd right off the bat when this tragedy occurred that there wasn't a whole bevy of articles pointed in the exact same unified direction coming from the media. I even texted Jared at Guns and Gadgets and said, something feels off, why aren't they attacking in the normal ways that they do? Well, four days later, it's like someone flipped a switch because they're all going the exact same direction at the exact same time from the exact same approach, all utilizing every town for gun safety as a non-biased source for gun information. Obviously, it's a biased source, it's a gun control group. Everything is linked in the description box below, but we have got to go through some of this and send this out because this kind of stuff is what we have to dispel. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Established Titles, and then we're going to get into this, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think in the comments below. The Established Title Packs give you one square foot of dedicated land in an estate in Eddleston, Scotland, along with a certified crest like you see right here. This is based on a historic Scottish custom, which will allow landowners to become lords or ladies, and if you act now, you can be in the LOA little plot so we can have our own little fiefdom. This is a fun and novel way to preserve the woodlands of Scotland. They work with global charities, one tree planted, and trees for our future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially change your name to lord or lady and get it on your plane tickets and also on your credit cards. This makes a great last minute gift and they have couple packs which you can get adjoining plots of land together. In order to give the ultimate conversation piece for that special someone, Established Titles is running a massive sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Langley, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Langley to support the channel now. All right, my brothers and sisters, one of the most important things that we do on this channel is I always present what I'm giving you with backup information in the description box below. Everything on this channel is always linked for the very reason that someone would challenge anything that you've seen on this channel and you can point to the actual evidence of what we're presenting. That's incredibly important, but what I'm about to show you right here from ABC, a mainline media source, is outright saying things like this. Check this out. A look at Missouri's gun laws in wake of St. Louis school shooting. Missouri does not require a background check to buy or own a gun. That would infer that it's the wild, wild west and there is no gun background checks and there's no safety protocols in place for buying a gun in Missouri. Um, except if you consider the federal NICS background check system, which hits every single gun purchase from a business to an entity or to an individual, you're getting a background check by not a state level, a federal level, the FBI. Every single one of them. In fact, a main point of contention in a lot of videos we do on this channel is they're changing the rules about how long you have to keep those from the ATF. Gun stores now have to keep them forever, and when they close down, they send all those records to the ATF. It's interesting how they would laud that, they would applaud that on one end and on the other, and they say there's no background checks in Missouri. It's all a manipulation, and that's why we do on this channel. All right, let's get in because you'd think that's that's where it would stop, but it's not. A shooting at a St. Louis, Missouri high school on Monday left two dead and seven others injured has put a new focus on gun laws in the state. Uh, yeah, from the mainstream media. Now, keep in mind, they also are not going to mention that the reason that this entire attack was slowed down was because of the hardening of schools. They aren't going to mention the fact that the SROs acted quickly and uh, saved as many students as they could. They aren't going to mention on the fact that police brought firearms and engaged the threat very quickly based off of the um, reports by the SROs and the hardening of schools. None of that they're going to mention. They're just going to go after the fact that guns are easily accessible and there's no background checks in Missouri, which is patently false. But let's keep going. The suspect, 19, who graduated from the high school, was armed with an AR-15 style rifle and more than 600 rounds of ammunition, authority said. Now, keep in mind again, they're not mentioning the fact that the family of this individual called the police and the police came and they took the firearm from that individual because he was a mental patient, literally adjudicated into a mental facility, and then it goes away. So that's red flag law procedure. May not have been an actual form, but that's what happened. Still didn't help. The things that help are the things that we're talking about consistently. Let's get it. This individual's family had removed the weapon used in the St. Louis school shooting from their home, but the suspect managed to gain access to, a, to the weapon again, authorities said on Wednesday. So the red flag laws or the red flag law actions did not work. 
At the end of the day, the red flag laws are a violation of due process across the board. It's only a matter of time before they get struck down because they are that egregious. But again, even if they weren't that egregious, they still don't work. We've seen it multiple times with Indianapolis and now St. Louis. Let's keep going because this is where they're actually passing every time for gun safety expectations on as the norm. This is important to understand what they're doing here. Check this out. What are Missouri's gun laws? Missouri has some of the weakest gun laws in the, in the country, according to the nonprofit anti-gun violence organization, Every Town for Gun Safety. They could just say anti-gun organization. They don't need to say anti-gun violence organization. But it's also a matter of perspective. For example, if you're on the gun rights side of the argument, you would say Missouri has some of the strongest gun safety laws in the nation because they're about preserving the Second Amendment. But if you're referencing from a gun control group, the biggest one in the United States, which spends $50 million on gun control policies and politicians every federal election, there's a bit of a problem. But let's keep going. Missouri does not require a background check to buy or own a gun, according to every town. Um... Does that sound like something that's actually based in reality, or does that sound like a manipulation? Missouri may not do a state-level background check uh, because the federal government already does it. It's called the FBI NICS background check system. The only thing that they could be referring to and how they wouldn't be lying here, would they, would, excuse me, if they said, well, Missouri doesn't, so it's a state-level background check, so we were right, we didn't lie. Even though they're inferring, the entire thing here is there's no background checks across the board. Also, they're leaning into universal background checks, which don't exist in, in Missouri whatsoever. Let's keep going. Anyone who is 19 and older can legally conceal and or open carry a gun in Missouri without a permit. According to the state law, the state also recognizes concealed weapon permits issued by other states. Other states, reciprocity, that is a completely different issue, not to mention that a lot of the states that they're referencing here have background check systems built into their uh, concealed carry permitting systems. They're not telling you all the details because they frame it from a perspective of, look how crazy this is, something must be done. It's not even over. Wait until I show you what they try to pass off as norm for ammunition. But Missouri doesn't require a license to sell or buy ammunition, nor does it require sellers to maintain a record of who bought ammunition, according to Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence. Wow, all their sources for this article are all the main gun control agencies in the United States. Now let's hit the ammunition thing. They're going down the record and presenting it as, look how outside of the norm Missouri is. They don't even do background checks on ammunition or registration of ammunition and record keeping. That's because that's not the norm. California, New York, and Illinois, those are the extremes. They're the ones that do ammunition background checks, and they're the ones that do am ammunition reg uh, registrations and records. They are the extreme, but they're passing it off as that's the norm. It's not. Let's keep going. Proponents of gun control say ammunition deserves stricter restrictions limiting the frequency and severity of mass situations. In contrast, gun rights advocates argue that ammunition restrictions violate Second Amendment protections and unnecessarily duplicate the replications in place, excuse me, the regulations in place for guns, experts say. That's because it does create another level of gun control. That's the whole point. In states like uh, New York or California, what they're advocating here for every town for gun safety is, well, we have federal background checks, and then we have state background checks, and then we have ammunition background checks, all of these different things, and they still occur. That's kind of the elephant in the room. But they're trying to present all of these extreme cases from every town for gun safety for Giffords.org as the norm in states across the nation, and it's simply not. I'm putting this article as highly propagandistic, and I hope you do the exact same. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.